Hi, and welcome to another Tree and 3D Builder tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to generate large-scale geotypical and generic terrains with automatic object placement. In a geotypic project, we normally have an elevation data set which can be added in the command panel in the data tab by clicking this icon. Right now, we already have one file loaded. Let's switch it to invisible for now. Now we see a colored raster map. This is the land cover file. Let's have a look at the land cover settings. We can load the land cover file here by clicking on the folder icon. As you can see, each color stands for a certain feature. In this case, for example, green represents forest, red, urban, and so on. Below the features rollup, you will find the height ramp settings. Here we can define how the terrain texture will be affected depending on the height. So for example everything from minus 1000 meters to 2 meters will be textured with a water texture and from 1 to 20 meters it will get a bare ground texture. Also note that we have set up a transition area between water and bare ground of 1 meter. Below the height ramps roll-up, we have the slope ramps. This roll-up is similar to the height ramps, only that instead of using the height to determine the texturing, it uses the terrain slope. The values are defined in degrees. Let's have a look at the actual geotypical textures in our project. Here, in the texture library, we can filter by geotypical textures. Let's do that. As you can see, a geotypical texture can have many variants. It also accepts alpha images and vector files. Let's now have a look at one of those vector files by clicking the Edit Vector Data button. As you can see, we have different vectors inside of this texture and we can edit them just like any other vector in Trian 3D Builder. Okay, let's close this dialog. Another way to use geotypical textures is by assigning them to a vector. For example, this vector area contains a geotypical texture of a city. Let's have a closer look at the outline modifier in the modifier section. The outline modifier has the urban geotypical texture assigned in the Geotypic Object Placer modifier, we can define various settings to determine how the objects will be placed, as we can see here. You can find more information about this in the user manual. OK, let's enable the Elevation Data Visibility again and build the whole database. And here we have our generated geotypical terrain. As you can see, water texture has been applied where the height is below 2 meters. Also mind the transition between water and bare ground. Over here, we can see the geotypical textures and the objects that are placed upon. And here we see the vector area with the geotypical texture. If we take a look at the mountains, we can see the height and slope ramps are taking effect by blending in, for example, the rock texture. So, that was it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.